My man. I just gotta say, good to see you again. Good to see you again, mate. I love you in this character. Oh, thanks. Um, You know, you're 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 known as Finn. We all Mm -hmm. when we we've talked a lot in the Star Wars. But you really you came in. You made Jake your own. Yeah. And as an actor, I have to say, I'm not an actor, but you're just a great actor. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. It's really really fun experience doing this. It must have been. In fact, you're also a producer, if I'm not mistaken, on this film. Yeah, man, you know, the best way to get involved creatively is to go behind the scenes as well as, you know, in front of the camera. So that's what we're doing here. I've known you over the years. We've talked. And mm-hmm. when I said I saw you as a producer, I'm like, my man is getting big time. He may not even <laughs> talk to me next <laughs> time. <laughs> Never. You... No, no. Look, man, you look, you're here today. No, it's the same old, man. Okay. It's the same old, G. What drew you to the pr- actually producer and actually to play Jake in this in this film? Well, I, I, I found in my company, Upper Room Entertainment, in 2015, um, I just found it as a way to creatively reinvent invest into myself and in hopes of being a part of the bigger change um, in, in the industry. And right. when I went out to LA just to have meetings, uh, just to introduce them to, to my, my business format, what I wanted to do, I met with Legendary and they already had a plan. <laughs> um, and then they brought me into a room and then I saw concept art, and you know, the, the story, Steve the Knight had already signed on, but it was in the early stages. And I was just like, I love the first Pacific Rim. I love the direction that they, they, they're going with this. And I love the fact that I've been brought in this early so I can help steer the the creative choices and so um yeah i was game for it man and now one of your uh co-producers of the film he's an oscar winner guillermo del toro well done mate yeah fantastic i wonder whether that means i get to keep parts of the oscar in my (laughs) apartment on mondays wednesdays and fridays yeah yeah you can go and visit it and and, and hang out with oscar (laughs) but what is it like to work with guillermo i've talked to him a couple times he's a fantastic Mm -hmm. guy it was it was it was fantastic It, it was also quite surprising because we didn't have as much time as a, as a studio of this size of magnitude normally has. Um, and speaking to him, obviously he was still working on uh, In the Shape of the Water and it felt like, okay, cool, you're actually getting back to us with notes about our, our, our previews and our scenes and our casting. Um, and, it, and, it, and it felt good to know that his influence is still, you know, is very much a part of this process. I feel like I'm in the movie, actually. I'm sitting here looking around. Dude, this, this is, is what set looked like. This is what the, okay. Yeah. My next question was the set because it feels like it was just a massive set. Yeah. There was a lot going on. So this is what it looked like. Yeah, but you know, that wall would be over here to create a big robot head and the whole thing would move. Um, it was crazy. Sparks flying, you know, ropes and it's nuts. And it jumps off the screen like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, you just did a Reddit, uh, ask me anything. And <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, I'm not gonna ask any. I, I, one question drew me in okay. in particular. Yeah. I was actually following along while you were doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it asked, would you ever do play a villain? Yeah. And okay, so the answer is yes, but your answer was like, hmm, you, you just even written, I could tell something, you said something's up. I know you're not gonna tell me any secrets, Yeah. but I'm just gonna, okay, you've got a poker face. I mean, I, I, got, I gotta be bad one of these days, man. I gotta I got do the villain stuff, definitely. It's not always about saving the world. Sometimes it's about destroying it. There you go. Seriously. Final question for you. Yeah, and I saw the face too. It's kind of villainish. I'm like, wow, that's John Boyega. Final question for you. Sum up this experience for me. It's been electrifying really has been and a shock.